Owning a building is a war between the landlord and the tenant, and I'm slowly starving them. It's part of my green initiative. And by green, I mean money. Dwight, why is the toilet paper only half apply? Oh, I'm sorry. Is that not good enough for your anus? Don't get me started on how coddled the modern anus is. Okay, um, Stanley, maybe you can just unspool a little more each time you need to... Don't tell me how to do my business. Dwight, can we talk about these cutbacks? If you want to talk to the new building owner, you should call Nate and schedule an appointment. Yellow. Hi, Nate. It's Pam Helper. Oh, hey, Pam. Hey, I would just love to schedule a meeting today with Dwight. Dwight Schrute? Mm-hmm. Mm, tell her I'm busy. Hey, Pam. Dwight's being questioned by the police in connection with a string of dog nappings. Can you please tell the new building owner that he is screwing over all the people he works with? You're right. This isn't just a business. This is a home. And I would much rather see a smile from Kevin than save hundreds on plumbing and electricity. Will not work on a roach billboard. Oh my God, I can't look at roaches. Dwight, take it down. <laughs> I'm serious, take it down or else. Or else, or else what? We can move out. Pam, I am not an unreasonable man. If you guys stay, I will stop watering down the soap. You don't want to move? Moving is one of the most stressful things you can do in life. You'll probably just take it out on your kid. And 25 years from now, Cece will become world famous for stripping. It's a sad story. I have another one. We move. The other tenants follow. The bank takes the building, takes your farm, takes your car, and beats the crap out of you. Penniless, you die. Hello? You're breaking the law. Impossible. I love the law. There are certain standards that you have to maintain the building at, and that includes comfortable temperatures and adequate lighting. No more tampering with the toilet paper. See, I've underestimated you. Nate, reply the paper.